In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Before we celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord. Christ, have mercy. Christ. Lord, have mercy. Lord. Let us pray. O God, who manifest your almighty power, above all by pardoning and showing mercy, Bestow, we pray, your grace abundantly upon us, and make those hastening to attain your promises heirs to the treasures of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Job. Job answered the Lord and said, I know that you can do all things and that no purpose of yours can be hindered. I have dealt with things, great things that I do not understand, things too wonderful for me, which I cannot know. I had heard of you by word of mouth but now my eye has seen you. Therefore I disown what I have said and repent in dust and ashes. Thus the Lord blessed the latter days of Job more than his earlier ones, for he had 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camels, a thousand yoke of oxen, and 10,000 she-asses. And he had seven sons and three daughters, of whom he called the first Jeremiah, the second Kaziah, and the third Karanfapuf. In all the land, no other women were as beautiful as the daughters of Job. And their father gave them an inheritance along with their brothers. After this, Job lived a hundred and forty years and saw his children, his grandchildren, and even his great-grandchildren. Then Job died old and full of years. The word of the Lord. Lord, let your face shine on me. Teach me wisdom and knowledge, for in your commands I trust. Lord, let your face shine on me. It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I may learn your statutes. I know, O Lord, that your ordinances are just, and in your faithfulness you have afflicted me. According to your ordinances, they still stand firm. All things serve you, Lord. I am your servant. Give me discernment that I may know your decrees. The revelation of your words shed light 
giving understanding to the simple. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of your kingdom. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The seventy-two disciples returned rejoicing and said to Jesus, Lord, even the demons are subject to us because of your name. Jesus said, I have observed Satan fall like lightning from the sky. Behold, I have given you the power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and upon the full force of the enemy and nothing will harm you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice because the spirits are subject to you, but rejoice because your names are, are written in heaven. At that very moment, he rejoiced in, this, in the Holy Spirit and said, I give you praise, Father, Lord of, of heaven and earth, for although you have given, you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned, you have revealed them to the childlike. Yes, Father, such has been your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father. No one knows who the Son is except the Father, and who the Father is except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him. Turning to the disciples in private, he said, Blessed are the eyes that see what you see. For I say to you, many prophets and kings desired to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. The Gospel of the Lord. When Jesus says, no one knows the son, who the Son is except the Father, and who the Father is except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal him, he's telling us that he, only he knows the Father. And that's mean that the only way through which we can know God is through the Son. This is Jesus' pretension, to pretend that he knows the Father, only he knows the Father. And, and if, you, if, you, if we want to know who the Father is, we must know the Son. And this is our pretension as well, to let others know, do you want to know God? Do you want to know who God is? You must know Jesus Christ. He is the fullness of revelation. He is the face of the Father, the image of the Father. And that's why we are urged to evangelize, to tell others Jesus Christ is the true Son of God. And if you want to know God, you must know Him. This is so important for us to understand because this is going to tell us, this is going to tell us, it is not the same to be Muslim or to be you or to be Buddhist, it is not the same. Because we pretend, just as Jesus pretended to know who is the way to the Father, who is the truth, who is the life, and it is Jesus Christ. 
we, we don't want to, uh, to claim that we know the whole truth. We are in a process to know the whole truth. We cannot possess God. And that truth is being revealed by God little by little. Jesus Christ is the plenitude of revelation. And we are learning more from Jesus Christ. And we can, we can see that through, throughout the history of the church. The dogmas, for example, are, uh, are, are ways that the church have deepened in the, in the mysteries of revelation. We can, we can see how our comprehension of the, of the truth revealed by Christ has been deepened by the church. So we have to say, if you want to know Jesus Christ, come, baptize. And at the same time, we have to say, Jesus Christ is still revealing us the truth through the Holy Spirit. And there is no interruption between what Jesus uh, is uh, making clear now between that and what we, we uh, believed in, in 2,000 years ago, for example. It, it is the same truth. It is the same truth, but that has been deepened by the church, inspired by the Holy Spirit. So I think uh, this is very important to, to have clear. Jesus Christ is the way to heaven, is the way to know God. This is our pretension. This is our pretension. And that is why, in, in, in some sense, we are not at the same level. And this doesn't have to fill us with pride, but with humility. And, and to, to, this should make us feel lucky, blessed for knowing Jesus Christ and the true God. Who says this? Nowadays, who says this? Because what is uh, fashion today is that we have to be tolerant, and that is correct, that is right. But sometimes, by saying this, we're saying we cannot claim to know the truth. We cannot say we know the truth. And, 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 and this might sound uh, impositive, but it is what Jesus says in the gospel. And I repeat, who says this today? Who says Jesus is the way, he's the true God? If you want to know God, you must know Jesus. Who says this? So let us ask the Lord, Lord, give me the humility because I am lucky to know you, to know the face of the true God by knowing you. Thank you. I don't deserve it. I'm Christian. How lucky I am for being Christian, for being Catholic. And at the same time, we have the obligation to tell others with humility without impose, imposing our truths, but saying, Jesus Christ is the truth. Jesus Christ is the way to heaven and to know God in the, really, to know God really. Let us pray in silence.
Let us pray, brothers and sisters, for the church and the world. For our Holy Father, our bishops and priests, our missionaries and apostles, that they may experience the power of the name of Jesus in overcoming all evil resistance to his saving work in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. For the gift of peace, that we may be made worthy of this gift by our work for justice, for life, and for the dignity of all, let us pray to the Lord. That the humility practiced by Job and recommended by Jesus may be ours, so that we may take our place with Mary among the little ones favored by the Lord, let us pray to the Lord. For all who know afflictions and have been humbled by adversity and by the downing awareness of the serenity of God, that like Job, they may know the returning blessing of his healing and abundance, let us pray to the Lord. For all our faithful departed, that their eyes may be blessed with what they see in the face-to-face -face vision of Jesus and his beloved Father, let us pray to the Lord. Merciful God, hear our petitions and grant what we ask through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant us, O merciful God, that this our offering may find acceptance with you, and that through it the wellspring of all blessing may be laid open before us, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Up Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church. Spread through all the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Charles, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who, who have pleased you through all the ages, we remember to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ.
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant to us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May this heavenly mystery, O Lord, restore us in mind and body, that we, that we may be co-heirs in glory with Christ, to whose suffering we are united whenever we proclaim his death, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. Amen.